boys. Have fun. fun. See you later. Oh, oh my word. Oh, oh, Royston. <laughs> what have you been up to? Hi, Ollie, Jethro. I've just been on an emergency call. There was a dog up a drain pipe, so we rescued it, and uh, that's it. Oh, it's very exciting. Where are you going? Jethro's taking me bird watching. Oi, down Bluebell Woods we're going. Oh, go watch some birds and that. Why don't you come along? Oh, yes. That sounds very relaxing. It's exactly what I need. Lead on, Jethro. <laughs> Oh, what's that? That'd be me, Ollie. You want to see a bird? You got to sound like a bird. Nice and peaceful, like. I see one! I see one! Look! On the fence over there! Careful, Royston. You're scaring the birds away. Oh, no. They've all gone. Oh, not all of them, Ollie. The one I spotted is still there. Oh, I think it's a chaffinch or a budgie or maybe an old rag hanging off the fence. <laughs> oh, don't worry. We'll just wait here until the birds come back. Mm. Well, not while they can see old Royston here. Old bright red and that. <laughs> oh, Jethro's right, Ollie. I'm too loud and too colourful. I don't blend in enough to go bird watching. You make a good scarecrow, though. <laughs> Hang on. Royston, stay there. I've got an idea. Easy, Ollie. What are you up to now? Oh, no. Hey, that's not very nice, Ollie. <laughs> Don't worry, Jethro. Oh, I think I know what Ollie's doing. Thanks, Ollie. Now I... Now I really blend in with the woods. So let's spot some birds. <laughs> Sparrows and blue tits, it's birds that we spot. Cuckoos and magpies, we see such a lot. Chaffinch and robins, <laughs> all up in the trees. A dog on your back, beware you don't sneeze. Some thrush and blackbirds are making a nest. Woodpecker, skylarks, but spawning is the best. Whoa, that was fun! Thanks for helping me blend in, Ollie. You're welcome, Royston. I've had a fantastic day. But look! How are we going to get clean? We're completely covered. Don't worry, Ollie. I've got a few good friends who can help us. OK, boys, let's get them clean. <laughs> oh, leave the little white van, close his friends as much as he can. Oh, leave the little white van, always around to hear a healthy Come on, Ollie. I'd like to get back in time for lunch. I'm starving. Right-o, Stan. Ollie, look out! Whoa! Whoa! Are you OK, Ollie? Yes, thanks, Mandy. But what happened? Oh, I'm sorry. I threw a ball of string and it hit you. It was meant to lure down that cat stuck in the tree. That's Crockett. Oh, he belongs to Meg, the antique shop owner. She'll be worried sick. But how do we get him down? No problem. I'll go and get help. Stan, you can stay here and try to coax him down. Back soon! 
Right, come on, Mandy. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Meow! Maybe we better just wait for Ollie. <coughs> Don't you worry, Meg. Royston will have little Crockett safely down in no time. Oh, I do hope so. Oh, that's it. Come on, down no. Good little kitty. <coughs> Ah, yay, me! Royston, the red fire engine, helps his friends as much as he can. Oh, Crockett! Sorry, I got a bit excited. It's OK, Meg. I'll catch him. I promise. <laughs> Crockett, I'm not trying to hurt you. Slow down, please. Ah, <coughs> oh, I'll never be able to do this. I can't climb and jump like a cat. Ah, but Holly, to catch a cat, you've only got to think like a cat. Yes? Yeah. No cats here. A goodbye, mice. Meow. I'm a cat, I'm a cat, and a cat likes milk. No cats here either. I'm a cat, I'm a cat, and a cat likes sleeping. Ow, Ollie. Have you got my precious little crockett? No, Meg. I haven't got Crockett. But since cats love sleeping, I have a good idea where he might be. Oh, where? There. Oh, he came home. Yay! Shush! Yay! Thanks for finding my darling little Crockett, Ollie. Oh, it was nothing. I just had to think. Like a cat. Meow. Ollie the little white van helps his friends as much as he can. Ollie the little white van always around to give a helping hand. Whoa! Oh, this is brilliant! Oh, careful, Ollie. It's pretty tricky driving in snow, you know. You've got to take it easy. I'm too excited to take it easy, Stan. It's Christmas Eve. Hey, hey, hey. what's going on over there? Use a low gear. No, use a high gear. No, not that high. Go slower. No, no, go faster. Oh, Tom, this is useless. It's just too steep. Hi, you guys. Are you gents having a spot of bother? Hey, you could say that. We've got a delivery of animal feed for Bumpton Zoo, but it's at the top of this hill. And with all this snow, it's just too slippy to get up there. If we don't get this feed up to Zookeeper Willy, the animals will have nothing to eat over Christmas. Well, that's him now. Hi, Tom. I've got two very hungry lions here, and all I've got to feed them is a bunch of bananas. Hey, you! Come back with those! <laughs> I think they're pretty desperate up there. Hey, why don't you load me up with the food and I'll have a go. I love the snow. All loaded, Ollie. Well, let's go. Go on, Ollie. Oh, 
that hill, you need more speed. Well, that's no good, it's grip I need. If you need more grip, we'll add more weight. Oh, you'll never get up there at this rate. There's trouble here at Bumpton Zoo. There's a hungry bat and a kangaroo. With a six foot eight who's in a mood. Because it's Christmas Eve and we've got no food. Why don't we push? We're all quite strong. This is no use, it'll take too long. How about driving tilted on one side? I can't keep my balance with this load inside. There's trouble up there at Bumpton Zoo. There's a hungry bat and a kangaroo. There's a six foot tape who's in a mood. Because it's Christmas Eve and they've got no food. Yeah, Dan, are you sure this is the only way? Aye, rockets, boys. Tis the only way. OK, let's give it a go. Start me up, Stan. Been gone quite a long time, Stan. Hey, listen to that. No, it can't be. It is. It's Ollie! Come on, Stan, hop in. We've got work to do. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Oh, are we glad to see you. Stand down, chaps. There's plenty of bananas for everyone. Oh, leave a little white man. Helps his friends as much as he can. Oh, leave a little white man. Always around to give a helping hand. Oh, leave a little white man. Helps his friends as much as he can. Oh, leave a now City 4, Rovers 4. What a goal that was. What are you listening to, Jethro? It's the football on the radio. <laughs> Here comes Jethro now. But no, Ollie, the little white man, is too quick for him. Yeah. Yeah. What? Too slow, boys. And Rovers have won the cup. Oh, that's always been my dream. <laughs> Playing football and winning the cup. Oh, I'm too old and slow to do that now. I really want to help Jethro, so let's arrange a football match. Fantastic! You, me and Jethro will team up and play for the Bumpton Cup. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the teams, Manchester United. And now, it's FC Barcelona. And here's our match referee, Stan. Ready, everyone? has to be my proudest day. Hard luck, my friend. I'll take it down the other end. No, I'll do it. I've been out of my way. To win the Bumpton Cup, we'll need a lot of luck to show our skill be speedy and brave. You'll never stop me. Now I'm going to show you how to score a goal. I'm going to score this time, Ollie. Oh, you watch. Look out, Jethro. Pass the ball. To win the Bumpton Cup, we'll need a lot of luck to show our skill and football in flair. You'll never stop me now. I'm going to show you how to score a goal. He shoots. It's there. FC Barcelona lead 1-0 at half time. I don't understand it. I've been trying so hard. I'm just not good enough. Oh, don't be silly, Jethro. We just need a new game plan. Can I help, my friends? You need to play it quick, then slow. Then even slower, then really quick. You see, football is a really simple game. He's right, Jethro. Football is a simple game. We just need to pass the ball. What we need is teamwork. Let's play, Manchester. Game on! 
And the second half gets underway. Jethro! Good control from Jethro, but what will he do now? Ollie! Jethro passes the ball to Ollie. Ollie shoots from long range. It's a goal! Ollie scores for Manchester United. It's one all. Great goal, Ollie. At the restart, it's all to play for. Pass it back, Baza. Nah, I can score from here. Great save from Susie. It's a penalty and a red card for Baza. He's been sent off. Are you OK, Ollie? I'm all right. Good luck with the penalty. Well, I was just about to say the same thing to you. Me? I can't do it. Yes, you can, Jethro. Go for it. This will be the last kick of the game. Can Jethro score? I just scored a goal. It was teamwork that won the game. <laughs> Ollie, the little white man, helps his friends as much as he can. Ollie, the little white man, always around to give a helping hand. Have a good day at school, Charlie. And don't look so worried. Now here's your lunch. Oh, do I have to go? Hey, what's up, Charlie? You like school? Oh, of course he does, Ollie. But it's the first day back after the summer holidays. It's always the hardest day, but it'll be over before you know it. Oh, off you go, Charlie. OK, see you later. Bye. Bye. Oh, dear, what a pickle. Oh, Ollie, Stan. Oh, I need your help. Hello, Miss Tabitha. What's wrong? The school books for the new term haven't arrived. Oh, we can't teach the pupils without them. Oh, no. Where are they? At the big warehouse, on the other side of town. Oh, this is a disaster. Oh, don't worry, Miss Tabitha. We'll get the books for you, won't we, Stan? Why, yes. We'll get them here before you know it. Right. I'll have to let the pupils exercise in the playground until you get back. Ah, oh, thanks, chaps. So why are school books so important, Stan? Oh, they're a great way to learn new things, that's why. People always need help from books. Hey, what's up with Baza? Hey, Baza, are you OK? No, I'm not, Ollie. Why not? Well, the thing is, I'm trying to grow a tomato plant, but I'm not having any luck. I never thought you'd be into gardening, Baza. Well, I am. And I'd love to grow tomatoes of my own, all bright red and tasty. Mm. Hey, Stan, maybe one of Miss Tabitha's school books can help Baza. Nice idea, Ollie. Let's have a look. Oh, ho, ho. here we are. The Little Helper's Guide to Gardening. Right, where's your plant? Here it is. But, Baza, that's a box. No, it's in the box. Um, I don't think keeping it in a box is a good idea, Baza. Well, OK, clever clogs. How else am I supposed to keep the slimy slugs off it, eh? Oh, Ollie's right, Baza. It says here that plants need light and water to grow. Oh, thanks for helping me, guys. Don't thank us. Thank the book. <laughs> There you go. Well done, you two. Right, time for lessons. <laughs> I'm sure the children will be fed up of being kept on the playground for so long. <laughs> Could all pupils please return to their classrooms? Lessons will begin in five minutes. Ollie, you've saved the day. The pupils will learn lots of new things today. And I've learned something new too. The books really are super helpful. Yeah. 
Just like you, eh, Ollie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you need a little help and you don't know where to turn, just open up a book, there's so much you can learn. They're full of useful things that are really good to know. Like where to keep tomatoes and how to help them grow. If you're feeling stuck and you don't have a clue, look in a book, they'll show you what you need to do. Ollie the little white man helps his friends as much as he can. Ollie the little white man always around to give a helping hand. Oh, it's a lovely day for a drive around town, eh, Ollie? Hmm, I suppose so, Stan. Oh, what's the matter? I'm sorry, Stan. I just wish I was the best at something. What do you mean, Ollie? You're the best at lots of things. Like what, Stan? Royston is the best at being a hero. Jethro's the best at being strong. And I'm not even the best at driving around town. Ollie the Little White Van. You are as super and as speedy as the next car. Hello! Not when the next car's Susie. Hello, Susie. Oh, where are you going in such a hurry? A Bumpton Flower Fair. It's just starting now. See you there, honey. Oh, yes, the Bumpton Flower Fair. I'm entering my flowers in the big competition. Wait a minute. The Bumpton Flower Fair? I completely forgot it was today. I haven't got my flowers ready, and even if I had, I'd never get them to the fair in time now. Hmm. We'll see about that, Stan. Go! We're not going to make it, Ollie. Don't worry, I know a shortcut. Sorry, Stan. Don't worry, Ollie. This has given me a great idea. Um, Stan, what are you doing? Oh, just you wait and see, Ollie. <laughs> that tickles. Thank you, everyone, for coming to the Bumpton Flower Fair. <laughs> it's time to find out who will receive the Golden Trowel Trophy. Let's find Bumpton's most beautiful flowers. <laughs> Oh, lovely, Miss Florette. Flowery, fruity, fantastic. Terrific tall sunflowers make. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> oh, bravo! <laughs> Very clever. <laughs> the trophy's ours. Nothing can stop us now. Wait! I'm coming! Sorry I'm late. Oh, can I still enter my flower display? Of course, Dan. But where is it? Everyone, please put your hands together for Bumpton's first ever flower van! <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> Marvellous. I think we have a winner. Dan, congratulations. Thank you so much. But I couldn't have done this without a little help from a friend. <laughs> He's always there when I need him most He always tries his best, he does what he can I've got the best, best friend Of that I can boast Where would I be without my little white van? Ollie, you're Bumpton's best helper The most helpful van the town's ever seen Ollie you're Bunton's best helper, Ollie and Stan Wallachine. Oh, thanks, Stan. See, I told you that you were the best at something, helping people. Ollie, he's, he's Bunton's best helper, the most helpful man the town's ever seen. Ollie, he's Bunton's best helper. Ollie and Stan Wallachine. Some yummy food for you. And your bed 
that needs making too. Ah, oh, helping out at the zoo is so much fun. Ah, oh, Alfie, you're a funny fellow with your big floppy ears and your pointy tusks. And that trunk, whoa, I wish I had a snaky, shaky trunk like you. Here, Ollie, why are you talking to the elephant? He can't understand you, you know. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Hey, Bazza, what have I told you about pulling faces at my animals? Now, come on, Ollie, let's go and feed the monkeys. I'll teach you to laugh at me, Ollie. Yeah, I've got an idea. <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs> I'm going into town to get some shampoo for the lions. You're in charge while I'm away, OK? Oh, yeah? Oh, this is so exciting. I have to look after the whole zoo. <laughs> Zookeeper Ollie, at your service, Alfie. Hello, Zookeeper Ollie. <gasps> Who said that? I did. Alfie the elephant. No way! You... You can understand me, and you can talk. Oh, if only Bazza were here to see this. I'm sure he wouldn't believe his ears. Oh, <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> now, what was that you were saying about being at my service? Um, yes, um, Zuki Brawley always wants to help. How about you help me by... Giving my home a fresh lick of paint. These walls look so dreary and grey, you know. Yeah, good idea. Ta -da! Oh, that's so much better. Bright orange, the best colour in Bumpton. <laughs> Is there anything else you need me to do, Alfie? Ooh, now that you mention it, a makeover for the zebras. A new playground for all the animals. A rubber ducky for old Sharky. And a typewriter for Marlo. Now, there's just one last thing I need you to help me with. A surprise birthday party for the lion. <laughs> Ollie, what have you been doing? This isn't how you look after a zoo. Oh, Ollie, I'll leave you in charge and look what happens. But it was Alfie. He, he, he told me to do it, didn't you, Alfie? Pff, a likely story. If animals can talk, I'll eat my hat. Oh, that I'd really like to see. <laughs> Hello, Willy. I'd really like to see you eat your hat now. What? See? I told you he could talk. I told... Hang on. What's this? Bazza! Um, well, um, uh, the monkeys told me to do it. <laughs> well, that explains it. It was Bazza all along. Ollie, I should never have doubted you. But as for you, Bazza, you need to clear up all this mess you've made and you can start by bathing the zebras. Me? No way. I'm not... No! 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 All right, all right, I'll do it. I'm sorry. Seems Alfie's actions speak louder than words, eh, Bazza? <laughs> <laughs> 